Well, hey there and how are you today? My name is Carla, I am an adult doll collector and you are in my hangout. And today we are in Polly's Diner. Why are we in Polly's Diner? Well, I might have picked a few things up. Hang on. Yes, I'm still looking for a few other recipes for the diner and then eventually to make a bakery. But before we get started on these, I have something else that I also got for the diner. Let me show you. I need to take out this bench because we won't be using it in here for now because I got this. Oh, I got it at Walmart. Isn't that cool? It is, I saw this and I was like, this is perfect. And I can't play very much of it, but look, it lights up. How cool is that? It is, it is just too awesome. So we now have a 50s jukebox for her kind of 50 style diner. Yeah. Sorry. And then for someone else's, maybe not quite 1950s era place, but I don't know. But I also got this for someone's house, probably for Polly's apartment when they build it. So, so, yay! But now we can start opening up the capsules to see what we have. Be right back. Let's start with these. And these are Series 2 Diner from the Diner Series. And as any of you know who know me, you know I love these miniverse things. I am obsessed with them. I uh, Apparently I am now a collector of these because I will go to a lot of trouble to get them now. I never would have figured that I would do that. But yeah, <laughs> I like them a lot. Okay, so here's the first one. Oh. All opened, and so on the diner series. Those of you who are not familiar, they come. They come in these little capsules. They're flat on the bottom, and they have the dome. The dome is designed so you can put your finished product inside of it, and then in the sunny space, and it will kind of uh, finish the preparation of the product. However, because I have my handy dandy oven, I don't need that. So yay! So open it up and I just dump everything out and I'm going to pop, toss these aside for now because we don't need them they all also come the, the diner series they do come with these little tables that you can put together um, actually use little tables to make this thing here so you know they have other uses they can all I've seen them use as side tables and they use just all kinds of things they're handy they also come with, here we go, several pamphlets in three different languages to explain to you how to work this, how to make these, especially safety. And if you have a child, you should definitely read that to make sure that everyone is kept safe while doing it. They also come with this little catalog that shows everything that you can get in here. And these are obviously the ones that don't have everything yet, but here we go. So we have, this is what all could possibly be in here. Maybe we have the mystery things, apparently. Ooh, I'd love to get that banana split. Let's open up some of these things. Okay, now let's see if I, I just want to make sure I don't get any doubles. So let's see if we have any. So let's start with the utensils. And of course, you always get tongs. And uh, maybe it's a pie. We'll see. Oh, and if you don't have a way to heat up your little treats, you also get one of these little buttons in there. And you put the button. Now you have a way, well, in theory, to lift the note. 
through the dome. <laughs> so, ah. all right, so we've got a doily. Okay, I'm a little bit hopeful. Now let's see what we have here. What will this be? Oh, I, this is definitely not one I've done. Could this be the birthday cake? Oh, that would be mint if it is. So this looks like the frosting rings for a cake. Yes, oh my goodness. I was hoping for the birthday cake. Sorry. <laughs> I've done cake decorating myself, so I kind of can appreciate that. So. I'm not fantastic at it though. Okay, I worked at, I did grocery store cake decorating. So it is. It's the it's the birthday cake. <gasps> Forgive me. I'm doing a little happy dance. If I bump the camera, I apologize. Up oh, here is a pretty little cake plate. Aren't they pretty? I think they are just. I just love the details that come with this, these things. Where was this kind of stuff when I was a kid? This is probably going to be the cake itself. Oh, look at that. It's a double-decker cake. I'm excited. I'm happy. And what do we have in here? We have the glaze. Okay, with the little lid that goes with it. So this is the resin. This is the stuff that you do need to be careful with. Now I'm going to double check, see what color that's supposed to be, because if I don't have... No, nah, I can use the resin, because I've got this up in here, so I can do it. Okay, let's make a cake. Let's get up. Oh, there we go. Tongs. Ah, oh, it's going to be pink. Okay. So I want a pink cake. All right. That'll be fun. I'm just going to put the pink. There we go. Okay, here's my little spatula. And we're going to kind of like spread it around on the cake. Okay, well, it's kind of frosted. I mean, not perfect, but that's okay. I do imperfectly very well. So let's. Nope, I don't want to put that on yet. I want to put these on. These frosted, these icing rings. All right, so we get the rings out. And yep, you do have the little frosted things. I probably got this all wrong, but I put this. I'm guessing this is going to go. Okay, so down there. Okay. And this is going to go. Now we can put our little, I'll put the happy birthday thing on, I think, last. So let's cook it. Let's get it baking. So for that, open up the handy dandy oven. Put the cake inside. Lower the rack. So you can put um, you can put um, bake almost anything in these except for the very tallest of things, like those really tall cactus you can't. And what I do is you have this button here you can push, shows you five minutes, and you let it do its thing. And while it's doing its thing, I will open the next one. So here's the next one. Let's see if we have in here. All right, well, this one is obviously from a later series because it has pictures of all the things that you can make. Awesome. Alrighty. Well, I am excited about that. So, okay. Now, what do we have? What do we have for silverware first? Let's see what we have. Of course, the tongs. There's always the tongue. There's always this thing, you know. And I have a 
orc. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's open this up. Have a sunny day. Or, yep, sunny day. And then in here we have some, some chocolate chips. Okay. And when you open... One thing I love is you actually get actually things that look like ingredients. Isn't that wonderful? So even if you don't want to put the stuff together, you could still stock, you know, your your kitchen or your restaurant or a grocery store. So they have a purpose. This is probably going to be okay. Whoop. Another cake stand. Very pretty again. I do. I have a fondness for cake stand. And what is this going to be? I think this is going to be something that I've already made once. Yep, this is going to for the red velvet cake. Okay, so I will not be making the red velvet cake. I will save this. Have. Oh, I really hope I get those. And you have your little um, what, catalog, recipe book, whichever. <laughs> I don't remember. And so let's see. So we have drinks. And, you know, treats, hot dogs. Oh, I'd like to get the macaroons also and the strawberries. And let's be honest, I'd, I'd like to get any of this stuff pretty much. Huh, but let's just see what we did get. Okay, so um, first thing that popped out was this. So, some kind of a big treat. Oh, before I go too much further, let me connect this. Time to get off the cake. Pull it out. It's ready. So I do have this little, uh, little, uh, I guess, thing. It has a name. I'm just not coming up with it right now. Okay. Silverware does it have? It has obviously the tongs, always the tongs. It has this little round bubble thing, which I don't need to save. And it has. It doesn't look like it has anything else. Okay. So this, these might be tarts that have a few more packages. So let's go here. Oh, it's gonna be, ooh, it's gonna be brownies. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Check those out. Oh, that's about, ooh, I'm excited for some brownies. Yes, in my world, you can never go wrong with brownies. In my world. 
So let's see, we still have here. We have some raspberries. I love how realistic they are. And then this should be the resin. I don't mind the resin so much, but if I wouldn't let a child use it probably because I would be worried about all kinds of various things because that's how I am. And some chocolate glaze. Okay. Oh, I love them. Okay, let's put that on here. We'll just kind of, just kind of try to put them. Okay, put three up. Okay, so it is the Choco Raspberry Petit Four. Petit Four? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm butchering that word. So, some chocolate glaze and some raspberries on top. Okay. So they're made. Let's put them in the oven and see how they come out, even though they're not perfect. I can live with not perfect. What do we have next? Okay, so let's start. I, I always like to start with the silverware. I do not know why. But get the tongs again. And this little weird thing. And hmm. okay, again nothing else. I wonder if this is gonna be a double. But we'll find out. This up. Okay, it is not. It is something else. So it's got a place for a dish. And we have a place for a little bowl. Okay. I do not believe I've made this before. And let's see. Look at this package. And then here we have some, some salt. Okay. So that's something. I'm fully impressed. And we have some, oh, some pretzels. Okay, all right. Mm. And you know these are going to have real pretzels in this bag, in this box. Let's see. <laughs> awesome. And they have a little paper to put on, on the thing. I love it. Okay, I'm excited already. And then we have... Obviously, whatever this is going to be, which is going to be um, more, oh, mustard. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. Okay. So, yeah, it was a little thing. But let me double check what it's supposed to look like when it's all together so I can put it together not quite the same way. Okay, so there it is. It's pretzel, so I just need to put some mustard in the thing, and I guess I can dip one in mustard and blah it off. All right, this sounds like a fairly easy one. So we have the two pretzels. They look fabulous, actually. I keep this box because, come on, it's cool looking. And let's get some mustard in the dish. There we go. Alrighty, now I can I'm going to get the pretzel and we'll sprinkle some salt on everything. The petit fours are finished so we can take those out. All right, pretzels, let's go in. Let's 
just go in. So let's check the next one while that's cooking. So, okay, this is, I think this is going to be a drink. If it's a drink, it'll have a straw in it, so let's see. And it does! This orange straw. Of course, the tongs and that little thing in there. All right. And then we have what's in here? Oh, ooh, we have whipped cream. So, what's in this whipped cream container? Isn't that awesome? And we have oh, some well whipped cream with cherries on top. So I guess I'll open up this one first. Or second or whatever. Okay. Ooh, oh, French vanilla ice cream. I love having ice cream. <laughs> and so in here we will have the ice cream scoops. Isn't I just think that is just so brilliant the way that they come like that. Just top notch. And now this would be the cup for it. Okay, yep. Yeah. So here's the cup. And this will be the uh, resin. So what resin do we have today? It is going to be cherry, a cherry, uh, a cherry kind of um, ice cream, I guess. Okay. All right. All right. So this is this one, the cherry vanilla float. Maybe the resins come down enough so I can put in the resin. And I should put the straw in because we don't want to put the straw in after I cook it, obviously. We've seen what happens with that. So, straw, okay. Now, let's try the resin again. Oh, there we go. This is ready just in time because the pretzels are just finished. Okay, so let's take out the pretzels. There they are. Okay, and here are our pretzels. I like them. I would eat them too. I would totally eat them. Okay, so. Let's, uh, time to put that in the oven. Here we go. Okay. Let's over there again. Or, you know, utensils, whatever. Okay, this one has a spoon. Yay for spoons. And, of course, the tongs and all that other stuff. So. Okay, and what's in this pink egg? Happy Sun Farms. I wonder if this is going to be strawberries. Look at that. Oh, I don't even know what's inside of it, but look at that. Oh. Okay, now. Oh, aren't those beautiful? Look at those. Oh my goodness. Those are gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, those whole strawberries. Is this going to be chocolate chip strawberries? Let's find out. So we should have... Okay, we do have a tray. Yeah. And nothing else there. We have... Whatever this is. What frozen is this? Oh, yep, it's going to be a chocolate dip. I don't even have to pour it out. Oh, I like this one. So this is a chocolate dip for the strawberries. And the drink is ready. Okay, well, I think that's it for today. I appreciate you joining me. And so today we got to take a look at some Cafe Series 2 capsules and some Diner Series 2 capsules. And although I did get a couple doubles, they actually, actually will come in handy to use for other things in my little doll verse. 
I also got to take a look at this wicked cool jukebox. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hi. There we go. I love how it lights up. It's so awesome. And so we got to make a birthday cake. The pie is just there. We got to make some pretzels, a cherry float, some petit and some petit fours. I also got to have some extra things for my own little doll verse. Always a bonus. Yes. I'm very happy with this. So anyway, because anytime you get extra supplies, good. So thank you very much for stopping by. I definitely appreciate you giving me your time. If you like this video, please hit like. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think of these things. Um, or whatever, you know, you know, I love, you know, I answer your comments. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Sharing is caring, so go ahead and pass on the love. Get, you know, share this video with someone else if you would like to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I'll never know. And um, again, I appreciate you, you stopping by. And definitely, if you're a subscriber, thank you very much for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, the subscribe button is, I leave it on this side. I could be wrong. Maybe I've been pointing on this side all the time and it might be over here. I don't know. You'll have to let me know. Become a subscriber and tell me. So um, again, thank you very much for joining me at Polly's Diner. I had a good time. I hope you did. I will catch you around and... Bye!